Welcome to this Balanced Body podcast. Today's theme is tension busting exercises for the hands. My name is Margot McKinnon and I'm studio director at Body Harmonics in Toronto, Canada. To my left is my colleague Larissa McCook, who is going to help demonstrate these exercises. So what we're going to do here is bring our hands up, just, just a nice neutral position for the shoulder and hanging at the elbows and then hands in front so we can see them. And the first thing we're going to do, we call it a fist flash. So we really grip the fists and open wide, fist flash, fist flash. So real, real, real strong grip, flash, grip, flash, little faster we go, grip, flash, fist, flash, grip, flash, fist, flash. It's also a tongue twister. Okay, two more. Good, and we give it a shake. So all of these exercises in different ways work all the muscles of the hands right up through the forearms. And one of the real benefits here as we work the hands, we gain mobility, which we, you know, we often feel stiff at the end of the day using our hands. It also has an effect right up through the shoulders. So we start to feel a change in our posture as well as our strength. And one of the most important things about working the hands, especially in terms of grip, is that it relates directly to our back strength. And we want to make sure we maintain that as we grow older. Okay, so the second exercise here, you take one hand, almost like you're holding a big ball, and you take the other hand, a little smaller ball, and you fit the fingertips just inside. So you're, you're pressing in against the fingernails. So the inside hand now presses outward and the outside hand presses in. So in effect, there's no movement. There's just what's called an isometric contraction. And you want to see if you can produce equal force with all your fingers and thumbs. Okay, we're going to release it and we're going to switch. Press and release and switch to press and release, switch to press and release. Okay, so let's just go a little bit quicker here. Press, no release, press, press, switch, press, switch, press. And if you really pay attention, you may find that one hand is doing more of the pressing than the other. So really try and focus on both pressing in and out at the same time. Four and three and two and one. Okay, give it a shake. All right, this next one we come back to that neutral position for shoulders, right? Just hands forward so we can see them. You can literally do this in any position. Okay, we're going to open the fingers and close them and open and close and open and close. Okay, so we keep going and you want to check your wrists here and make sure that your hands are really uh, reaching straight out from the wrist. You're not breaking at the wrist. Okay, we're going to go a little bit faster. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And this exercise works muscles that are called the interossi muscles in the hands. So if you keep going here and feel through the back of the hand and the palm and just see if you can feel some activity or I like to say alertness in all the muscles <laughs> in your hands. Okay, so let's pause for a second, turn the hands over. So now we work the wrists a little bit against gravity here. Same idea, reaching right out from the wrist. Open, close, open, close. And you know, you just look back and forth between the two hands, watching for your fingers moving at relatively the same rate. Now when I teach this in Toronto, we start going really, really quick to almost the point where you don't feel like you have control over your fingers anymore. Okay, good, and then release. 
So like I mentioned earlier, this is particularly for the hand muscles, but because we're also using all the flexors and extensors, you will feel it all the way up through the forearm, building strength right up to the elbow. Okay, so the next one, we put hands together. We're gonna go back to our start position here. And I often think of this like you've got butter in a clay bowl and you are scooping it out. Right? Very deliberately, you want to get all of it with your hands. Okay. And if you watch, if you watch your hands and forearms, you'll see a turning action right up to the elbow. Okay. So we're using muscles again through the hands and the forearms, bringing now in the motion of pronation and supination up through the forearms. Good. Okay, we go a little bit quicker, scoop, scoop, scoop. And I think you can see a little bit my, my or our fingers are bending right at the, the base here, right? Scoop, 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 scoop. Okay, give that a little bit of a rest. We're gonna go the opposite way now, okay? So now it's like we flick water out of that same little bowl. Flick it, flick. Flick, flick. And again, take a look at your elbows. You want to see motion right through the forearms. And if you do this for a few moments, right, you'll start to feel this all the way up into the shoulders. Right? Count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then release. Okay, so the next one, we bring hands up, and we're working in opposition now. So we do thumb to baby finger, thumb to fourth, thumb to third, thumb to index, and again. Okay? And we keep going. And we get a little faster. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay? And you're trying again just to get each finger coordinated with the thumb. Keep going here and you'll start to again really feel muscles through the palm working. Okay, I think we sort of lost it now, right? Okay, good. And we give it a shake. One more for the fingers. Okay, so let's just take a look here. We'll keep our hands in this position, but any position will work. And here we're going to start with the thumb and draw figure eights. Okay. So you want to think of this, obviously, right through the base of the thumb. Figure eights. Okay, we're going to pause, open the fingers a bit, and we do the index finger. Good. All right. And we pause middle finger. All right. And pause fourth finger. And our fourth finger tends to be the weakest of all the digits. So you may find you have the least amount of control over that one. Okay. And then the baby finger. Figure eights. Okay. And we pause. All right, the last little sequence here, I'm actually going to assist Larissa just so you can see, but this can be done completely independently. So she's going to uh, extend her one arm, and I want you just to watch at her wrist. Again, her hand really extends right out from her forearm here. And we're going to begin just by folding the fingers in, no change at the wrist. Good. Okay, and she can even roll them right in as a fist here, right? Okay, and I've got my hand here on top of the wrist area and on the palm just to give her a little bit of feedback so she can keep her wrist in one spot. Okay, good. Now watch the second version here. She's going to extend her hand, okay, and we're going to watch the fingers. She bends right at the base, keeping the fingers straight. Right? 
So this works the lumbrical muscles in the palm primarily. And again, with this outstretched arm, we're getting work all the way up into the shoulder. Good. Doesn't that feel like enough probably, right? Good. Okay. And rest. Okay. So that's it for today's Balanced Body Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. And just remember that when you're working your hands, it's really important to take a break in between. But the stronger they are, the more you'll feel like your dexterity improves.